Hey guys, welcome to part 8 of the Mega Man ZXLP. Just beat Fist Leo, I'm in area B right now, gonna accept the next mission. So let's see, mission requests. Find the survivors. What will you do? Here description. I've detected a distress call coming from area F. There are Maverick and Biometal signatures in close proximity. Whoever sent the distress, distress call is being pinned down by Mavericks. It's likely that they are innocent civilians trying to flee. Head to area F and rescue those people. Secure the biometal while you're at it. Alrighty. So yeah, serpent pseudoroids, as they're called, or false roids, false roids, as they're called in Japan. They've been up to some pretty suspicious activities. They got this factory where they're making cyber elves and using them as a power source. They're kidnapping random townsfolk for whatever reason. Ah, dang it. Yeah, these pellet shots are pretty powerful. And the point is that you'll fire them in really rapid succession. And compare it to normal pellet shots. Yeah, look at that. That was, uh, that was awesome. I mean, really, this guy is pretty overpowered. Just look at that. That's just crazy. But anyway, we're heading back here. There's a The entrance to Area F is just a little further to the left. And we're gonna go to a very, very fun level. I like this level very much. I might be a little disoriented, just as I am with everything else with this control scheme, but... Yeah, look at that! I was able to destroy the bullets of that thing with my own bullets! How awesome is that? I just feel so empowered with this biometal. I love Model F. But anyway, yeah, you see this door right here, I know you're thinking, well, now that we've recently acquired the yellow key, we're supposed to go this way, right? Nope, that's where you go for a certain side quest. It's just another part of the level. Where we're supposed to go is over here, uh, somewhere. Where is this door? Oh, right, it's up here. Looks like this calls for a Model H. Let's see. Nope. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. Okay, now you see, we would not have been able to get this with Model uh, X. We may have been able to get it with Model ZX's uh, Spiral Sword Slash whatever. Or we could have gone with, you know, I mean, or we could have uh, hit the switch by, you know, dashing into the air and slashing with HX. Or, whoops, or we can just aim up. Yeah, I forgot to mention this attack. You could also aim up with these guns and hit enemies that are above you. How cool is that? I just can't get enough of this thing, it's just crazy. Oh, the only disadvantage, the only thing that makes it really inefficient, because all these biometals are suited for certain situations, uh, is you can't slash power-ups, because you don't have any... Dang, got really choppy. You don't have any blades. So, you, you know, if you want to farm for certain kinds of items, you'll have to use other characters. Just look at this background. All that glowing fungal growth, it's just beautiful. Yeah, like you see, but whatever, the energy is good. And I can show off his charge attack now. Watch. Ow. Oh well. Here's another swig. <laughs> Ow. Ah, frack you. <laughs> Did you see how far that knocked him back? That was just, that was just peachy. Uh. Gonna have to, yeah, there we go. Those guys are really durable. I really like this part. Just the po We're not even in the level yet. We're just in an area that's leading up to the level. And you know, I actually like these lengthy platforming sections where you're just climbing up a mountain. I love just going up and up and up. It's just fun. It's a simple pleasure, and I know some people think I'm against simple pleasures and all that stuff, but oh wow, look at this. It's just one background after another background. This game has such a great environment. It has so many nice environments, and they all coalesce into this really cool world that's just so much fun to explore, even just for the visual thrill of seeing all this beautiful art. Anyway, we are now at our first ice level, and it is an excellent ice level. Look at all that snow. The distress call definitely came from this area. The signal is too weak to pinpoint the exact location. I can't get a lock on it either. I'll proceed and let you know if I find anything. Yeah, there's the third of those guys I told you about in the last part, and look, ow, ow, ow. Dang it! Get out of there! Oh. 
Now, no, uh, fire is ice's weakness, but you know, it seems those guys, their attacks affect you no matter what element you're using. You know, I think I'll switch back to ZX for now. It's the most well-rounded of all these biometals. Trying to get this. Oh, what lovely music. This is one of the best tunes in the whole game. It's just, it's simple, but it's so nice. Okay, here's something that would have been made it difficult for us to progress through this level beforehand. We can slash through those, you know, the, the blocks uh, like like this one easily with any other model, but we would not have been able to punch through these ice blocks without this. Haha! <laughs> and yeah, even if you don't have any energy, even if you don't spit out fire when doing that, you'll still like just, you know, chew through all that easily. Oh boy. If we had a certain biometal that we actually get at the end of this level, progressing through here would be so much easier, but for now, we're just gonna have to deal with it. The water slows us down and makes us more sluggish. I really like those, uh, you know, those galleons with the cannons. They follow you up and down, and it's just a really creative, innovative sort of enemy. They have so many creative enemies like that throughout this whole game. They never seem to run out. Look at these anemone things! These are the weirdest enemies I've seen yet. Now, the, the bio of this thing says that they're based on a certain animal that went extinct sometime in the last uh, hundred or so years. Which is really, really strange now I think about it. Sea anemones are extinct in this timeline. How about that? I just, I gotta use some health. I'm desperate for it. Okay. Ah, dang it. I'm actually nervous to try progressing through this part. <sighs> No! I'm not even gonna bother trying to get that thing now. Just gotta progress through the level. You know, as much as I already love the soundtrack, there's a remastered version that doesn't appear in these games, but it, you know, it sounds more like actual music. It uses better synthesizers, it uses... It even has voice work. How crazy is that? Oh, you see that? I'm gonna have to use Model FX to break through that chunk of wall. There we go. Yeah, there's a certain um, upgrade over here that I didn't get. I probably should. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you also can't glide while you're down here. You know, you know HX, all the other, other bio metals are crippled pretty much. Okay, this part is really, really crazy. I gotta do this right or die. Spikes kill you, just like in any other Mega Man game. And if I'm not careful, I'm gonna die from those. But if I do this right, I can fly right over them. No, frack. If you get close enough, you can slice through those cables supporting these guys. But yeah, just tons of variety in the galleons. There are so many kinds of galleons, so many crazy weapons they use. I'm gonna take a different route this time, because I don't want to just make you guys watch the same thing over and over again. Oh, and look at that. Wow. You know what, now that I think about it, I would not be able to get that life upgrade, that what is basically a heart tank uh, 2.0 if I did not have model FX, because I wouldn't have been able to get through that other way, and I wouldn't be able to break through these blocks here. So yeah, I guess in some at some points you are kind of supposed to play these levels in a certain order. Okay, you know, I got plenty of health. I'm willing to let myself get hit by that guy, so by one of these fishies, so that I can progress. Come on, come here, come get me, come get me, you fish. Yes! Freck. This actually isn't going very well. I hope I don't have to resort to getting that in a second video, I mean in a separate video or off screen or whatever. It would be so much easier to get on a DS. But whatever. Oh come on, stop freezing on me. Yeah, 
You can also jump higher in the water, so you know, it's pretty much all the same effects you'll get from being in water in any previous Mega Man game. In some ways it's, it's, you know, it's kind of a downer, but in some ways it actually works in your favor. Do this right. Yes, I got it! Hooray! No game over for me, no thanks. Yeah, as soon as you touch the water, you, you stop gliding. Which really stinks, but whatever. Oh, I didn't even notice that back run before, because I was too caught up in getting that upgrade. Yeah, look at that! It's so beautiful! Kind of surprised that it's already changed to nighttime. Oh, whatever. More pretty art to enjoy. Hey! Is anyone here? I came to help! Tell me where you are! Strange. There's no reply. The source of the signal is definitely coming from near your position. The device emitting the signal should be close. Try to locate it. Ooh, dang. I'd like to think I'm getting a little better with this voice acting than when I first started this playthrough. Can I get out of me? Yeah, if you don't mash the buttons fast enough, you're just gonna get caught in that again and again, and it's gonna be painful. Hey, I really need some health right now, so I'm gonna take it when I can get it. Let's see, if I break through these, is there any special prize over here? Oh my gosh! Look! Look at that is! Do you guys see that little guy right there? That little blue guy that looks like a rabbit or something? That's Childray and Narabeta from Mega Man Zero Three. How his body wound up here is beyond me. Especially since there's actually a bonus level of sorts where you can fight him and some other bosses from Mega Man Zero Three and Four just for heck of it. But we'll get into that later. Oh, poor little guy. Well, at least he got a cameo in this game, and it's just another thing that makes us feel like Mega Man Zero Five or Four and a Half. Or whatever. But yeah, I, I, I've never noticed that guy until like just now, actually. And I was worried. I mean, well, okay, I heard about him, but I never actually saw him. And I was hoping that at some point during this playthrough, I would finally see him. And I was keeping an eye out for him, worried that I might not actually see him. And I just thought it would add a little something to the playthrough to find him. Oh, I think. Those, uh, moth things that litter the area with sparklies. If you get a bunch of those clinging to you, you'll be slowed down a lot. <sighs> Whoa, yeah, that was the overdrive feature. I used it up really fast, but it made my attacks really powerful. Ow. I guess I shouldn't have broken through that so quickly. Shouldn't have been so hasty. Anyway, this is just another area where we have to keep climbing. It's like a frozen junkyard. All this stuff has collected over the uh, centuries. I really like this enemy right here. You know, guys, when I was talking about that polar bear enemy in uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2 that reminded me of an enemy I liked from Mega Man ZX, this is what I was talking about. Any something, any just cool. I'm gonna break through here, see if there's anything... Nope, nothing. Oh, dang. Ow. If you manage to spam those guys enough, you should be able to break through the... Ow. Their ice balls before they land on you. The only problem is you can't move while you're doing this. I guess the recoil is just so bad that, you know, it can't be helped that you've just got to stand your ground and try not to fall anywhere or whatever. You know, I can't help thinking there's something up there I should try getting. Oh, you. Come on. There we go. Is there something over here? Yes, there is. I don't know what that'll be, but m yeah, maybe it's for this sub-boss. I forgot to mention the name of the sub-boss we fought in Area E. And yes, we do actually fight him a second time here. Say hello to the Crush Pactor! And the fight with him is considerably harder this time. Because now he's got this conveyor belt, and oh dang. Oh no, I don't think I can shoot from the walls! Can I? Oh good, I can. 
That's gonna make this go by so quick, so much faster. And yeah, there's this huge FU laser. Ooh, dang. To have both weapons at the same time to do twice as much damage twice as fast. Yeah. You know, this actually isn't going that well. I guess I better use Model ZX. Oh. No! Get over there, damn it. No! No! Well, frack. Sorry guys, I guess that's it for this part. We'll finish this stage in the next part. I, I, I know, I'm dying a little bit here and there. But I'm getting there. You know, we are getting through this LP. I'm chewing through this game just fine. I'm like a third of the way through already. Actually, no, I'm almost halfway through the game, believe it or not. Anyway, we'll see how the rest of this stage goes next time. You'll want to stay tuned because there's some really, really interesting shit that's about to go down. You'll see. Anyway, sorry this uh, sorry that I failed in this part guys. I'll do better next time. Anyway, toodles.